Majesty in Chains takes place in November of 1838 in Richmond, Missouri. In this scene, Joseph and his brethren are being held in Richmond in what was called the jail, but it was actually just a rough log house uh, with the dirt floor, straw on the floor. Uh, they didn't actually have a jail at the time, so they were just being held in these rough log houses. And Parley P. Pratt, who was chained to the prophet, records this account. In one of those tedious nights, we had lain as if in sleep till the hour of midnight had passed, and our ears and hearts had been pained, while we had listened for hours to the obscene jests, the horrid oaths, and the dreadful blasphemies, and filthy language of our guards, as they recounted to each other their deeds of rape, murder, robbery, etc., which they had committed among the Mormons while at far west and vicinity. They even boasted of defiling by force wives, daughters, and virgins, and of shooting or dashing out the brains of men, women, and children. I had listened till I became so disgusted, shocked, horrified, and so filled with the spirit of indignant justice that I could scarcely refrain from rising upon my feet and rebuking the guards, but had said nothing to Joseph. On a sudden he arose to his feet and spoke in a voice of thunder, as the roaring lion, uttering, as near as I can recollect, the following words. Silence, ye fiends of the infernal pit! In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you and command you to be still. I will not live another minute and bear such language. Cease such talk, or you or I die this instant. He stood erect in terrible majesty, chained and without a weapon, calm, unruffled, and dignified as an angel. He looked upon the quailing guards whose weapons were lowered or dropped to the ground, whose knees smote together and who, shrinking into a corner or crouching at his feet, begged his pardon, and remained quiet till a change of guards. I have tried to conceive of kings, of royal courts, of thrones and crowns, and of emperors assembled to decide the fate of kingdoms. But dignity and majesty have I seen but once, as it stood in chains at midnight, in a dungeon, in an obscure village of Missouri.